Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is looking at Pano 2 VR Pro and how to edit the master node. The master node allows you to enter uh, information such as user data or hotspots and when you enter them into the master node they get copied across of all the nodes within the virtual tour. To enter master node you click tour master node from the menu or you can right button click and edit master node from the tour browser. When you click this you'll see that you enter this holodeck blank area and once you're in there any settings you do here will be as said copied across all of the input images. So let's start off then by putting Pano 2 VR into full screen mode and what I want to do is um, to exit um, the uh, edit master node or the master node you just simply click one of the input images and that brings you out there you go now what I want to do is click user data and you can see that all of my input images have a title there you go now what I want to do is use the master node to fill out the rest of the user data and of course as said that will get copied across so let's do that if I select um, edit master node I'm going to give it a description so let's just call it trim um, I'm going to add an author support gnome and date and time I'm going to use the placeholder dollar t so this picks up the date and time from the input image and the copyright is ggs so garden gnome software so if I now come out of uh, the master node and come into a normal node you'll see that where the information was entered in the normal node it's white but anything entered into the master node is now a light gray so there you go you could you you've got all of those now what you can do is if you wanted to update one of the text fields because um, on one of the input images the information is slightly different you can do that if I select um, courtyard uh, garden instead of support gnome um, my mate Bob shot the picture so the author now is Bob so here you can see that you can now quickly um, just change the data on one of the input images what I want to do now is look at patches. So if I go back to the first node, um, what I could have in all of my panoramas is the tripod showing. I don't actually have one here, but we could do. So what I would do is go to the um, patch mode, add a patch, see what size it needs to be to completely remove an area with the tripod in. Um, let's just call it, I don't know, 50, field of view of 50. So let's set that in so once I know my size and I know that that will extract an area from each panel with the tripod in I can delete that go back to edit master node double click add the patch set the field of view to 50 okay and now all I need to do is click extract and what this will do now is extract that area from each panel uh, which will now allow me if I just go to the project um, folder and you'll see it's got patches. What it allow me to do now is either uh, individually uh, clone out or do whatever I need to get rid of the tripod or I, in fact I could run a batch in Photoshop to get rid of all the tripods for me. So that's extracting patches but what you can also do, let's go back to Pano 2 VR, instead of extracting a patch we can add a patched image. So if I double click add a patch but this time around what I'm going to do is I am going to add a logo so let's just go to uh, project file pick my logo double click and you can see that's now been added to the master node if I come out of the master node you'll see that the panel just quickly remapped there because it now shows the patch in the image and that will now show that patch there you go it's just reloaded that one in all of the uh, panoramas in the project okay so that's actually quite cool the other thing you can do in the edit master node is not just patches um, extracting and putting them in but you can also um, uh, use hotspots so if I right button click to go back to edit master node and what I'm going to do here I'm going to select polygon double click and I'm going to draw a polygon around the patch area and in this polygon I'm going to give it a title so let's just call it website and I'm going to give it the URL to our website. So HTTP it needs to be absolute uh, forward slash forward slash so ggnome.com. 
and the target will be blank because I want to open up a new window. Now what I'm going to do is exit the uh, master node and I'm now going to render out the output. Now this will take a bit of time. The reason being is because we've added a patch image and now what Pano2VR has to do is render all of the output images with the patch added. Um, luckily for us, Pano2VR is really quick, so it didn't take long. Here we go. So there is our patch added to the output, and when we hover over it, we see the uh, title website, and when I click it, it does indeed, or it will, add and open our website. There you go. Cool. Right. Okay, so um, what I want to do now then is that's obviously showing a patch um, logo, but I'm going to go back to the edit master node and I'm going to take away the patch and polygon and I'm going to add a point hotspot. There we go. And the reason for this is in the skin, I've added a hotspot template with my logo and I've called the hotspot template logo. So I need to put this in the skin ID and that's all I need to do. Now, what I need to do now is just render out the output. So let's just do that again pano 2 vr has to remap all the outputs uh, images because it needs now to extract and take away um, the patch that we've just put in but again luckily for us pano 2 vr is quite quick so that doesn't take too long the only thing i probably will need to do is empty the cache in the browser and reload because my browser tends to remember everything but what you're going to have now is the logo at the bottom now as you can see as i spin it it's not quite straight so what i do need to do is go back to Pano 2 VR and make sure that the tilt is exactly minus 90 degrees. And if I do that and re-render, you'll see that that now is perfectly in the middle. There you go. So we've now got my logo in the skin. I've already given it um, the mouse click open our um, uh, website action. So there you go. That's that's doing that right. I've got another couple of things I want to show you, or uh, one other thing I want, really want to show you, and that's you can add um, sound and media into the master node. Now, probably not a great idea if you want pinned um, uh, videos, because as I say, it will then display in all of your panoramas. Um, but what you could do um, is I'm going to add um, a sound, double click, um, uh, a click action, and I'm going to place that at the bottom of the pano. There we go. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to give it a circular effect. Um, so the idea is that when we look down, we also get our sound effect. So let's just um, republish this. And when we look down now, we get our little effect. So for change nodes, there you go. As annoying that as that may be, but you could have a little bit of funky tunes or some click here to visit website or whatever. But yeah, it just adds a little bit more to what you can do in the master node. As always, thanks for watching.